We are in the tunnel. Ooh, it's so creepy. I see him. Oh my gosh, I see him. You guys see him? He's right there. Oh, oh wait, now he's coming toward me! He's literally coming toward me! Ah! Okay, he's coming! I got him! So, ever since my wasps left me, I've had a void in my heart that I need filled. And so that is with an exotic pet of some sort. I've really been Googling right now, so I'm looking up um, just what makes a good pet. And I see here, my internet's really bad, if you'll see, it's, it's not loading anything right here, but I do see some text um, that say rabbits make really good pets. So I'm going to, I'm going to try rabbits. I, I can't load a picture, but since I'm really educated in nature and just everything outdoors, I know exactly what a rabbit is. Even though you guys might not know, um, you will find out from this video. And I hope this will be an educational experience for you, but it will also help me because it will help me understand that I already know a lot about nature and it will kind of boost my confidence while edumentating you guys. So, um, yeah, man, I thank you for coming along on the journey. Let's, let's catch a rabbit. Okay, so even though I'm pretty sure I know what a rabbit is, I was looking at some of these nature books and, and I couldn't, couldn't find a rabbit in this one or this one or this one or even this one. But I'm just going to go off of what I know a rabbit is already and that way we'll be able to um, just kind of go off of our own instinct. We don't really need knowledge outside of what we already know. So this stuff was no help. I, just, I mostly did it just to kind of satisfy you guys because I know some of you guys think that I should maybe do things a little bit more sensibly. And so I tried, didn't help, we're going to go my way now. I love pizza and so I'm confident that a rabbit would also love pizza. So right here I have some fresh pizza, pepperoni, I mean you can't go wrong with pepperoni so we're going to lure the rabbit and entice it. I don't, I don't want to freak it out. I don't want it to think that I want to eat it. I want it to think that I want it to eat the pizza. So something I know about rabbits is they live in holes. I've heard that before. I haven't ever seen a rabbit hole before, but I assume, I think these are pretty big creatures. And I assume that the hole will be pretty, pretty substantially sized. So we're gonna look for like a pretty big hole and then we're gonna put the pizza pretty close to the hole. So, come on. Guys, do you see it? That is a huge hole. Come on, that has to be a rabbit hole. Okay guys, I see a creature. It's right by one of the holes that we just found. I'm pretty sure it's a rabbit, okay? I'm gonna run up to it and I'm gonna take you guys with me so, so you guys can see, okay? Look, right there, there it is. Do you see it? That is a massive rabbit. It just went in its hole. Oh. Okay, well, this is taking forever. I'm getting impatient. I'm gonna go into the hole, I think. It's big enough for a man to go in. So I'm going in. This water's cold. Something I didn't realize about rabbits is that they live in water. I didn't really know that until now, until I saw one just go into its hole. I thought they were more out of the water creatures, but apparently not. So I have this, this little shovel to kind of, not to hurt the rabbit, but to kind of help move it along and kind of feel it in the water. Because if you can tell, the water is really kind of murky. So I'm just going to wade into its hole. Oh, man. Oh, that... Oh, that's really cold. I don't know why rabbits like this cold of water. I don't know. Can they breathe underwater? That's something I should know. I don't know. Maybe we should Google that later if the internet works, but we'll put a pin in that. All right, guys. I'm going in. Oh, man. This is creepy. We're gonna find it. It's really hard to see in the water, 
because it's pretty murky. I do not see the rabbit anywhere yet, but maybe it's hungry. All right, come on. Where are you at, buddy? Come on, we're not gonna hurt you. Oh man, this is intimidating because I don't know what a nice rabbit looks like, but to be honest, this did not seem like a nice rabbit, you know? Anywhere? Oh my gosh, I don't see it anywhere. We are definitely gonna catch this rabbit, okay? Like, I'm not giving up. And I have a brilliant idea. I think it's brilliant. Okay, so this, this rabbit is under the water, right? And I can't see it because it's covered in murky water. What if, what if I drag this wooden tote under, under the water so that it has to come? We're going to catch it because we drag it, it has to come. And then when I drag it into the shallow water, I snag it. Hopefully the rabbit gets caught in between here and into the shallows. In the shallow, la, la, la. Okay, we're gone. Ugh. I think rabbits might bite, so I gotta be careful. Oh my gosh, it's floating. It's not working at all. I'm just gonna walk it along the bottom. If I see it I'm trying to surface or something, I'm gonna snag it. Oh, that's a drop. Oh my gosh. Nope, oh, stop. It's wanting to float. Nope. Oh. Oh. This is very cold water. No idea where he could be. I hit something. Oh, I felt something go up my pants. I think it's probably a crayfish. Come on. Oh, girls. I don't think it's working. I'm tempted to just feel around with my feet. Worth a try? Oh, that's a rock. That rock right there, there's a rock. I keep on thinking it's the rabbit. This is a little freaky. Look what I did find though. Bam. This, my friends, is actually a baby monster. You see? It's pretty neat. Whoa, are you okay? Yeah. The rabbit is nowhere to be found. I'm gonna come back here tomorrow when the water has cleared and see if we can get another strategy in place that will help us obtain this creature. All right, day two. We're gonna catch this rabbit. Are you kidding me? The rabbit's gone! It's not here. Oh, wait, I see him. I see him. He's going into his hole. See his head right there? You can see him now. His head, he's just sitting right there. That's a, that's a big rabbit. All right, we're gonna drop this fence. Yes, he went in. He went in. Okay, this is exactly where I want him. I need him in there. That's why I brought this fence. He went in his hole. The rabbit went in his hole. Now we're gonna drop it, drop the fence, so he can't come out here. Cause once he comes out here, once he comes out here, I can't find him in this muddy water. Okay, so <laughs> here's the plan. We're gonna grab the rabbit by the tail. This this rabbit has a longer tail than what I've heard rabbits had. I thought rabbits had shorter tails, but this one's pretty long. We are. In the tunnel. Oh, so I see him. Oh my gosh, I see him. You guys see him? He's right there. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, there he is. He's moving away from me. Do you see? Oh, oh wait, now he's coming toward me! Stay away, stay away. Oh my gosh. This looks like a dangerous rabbit. I've never seen I've never seen a rabbit quite like this. Okay, he's moving now. Oh he's going! He's going! Okay. Ah! Okay, he's coming. I got him. I got the rabbit. I got the rabbit. Do you see this? Do you see this? I got the rabbit. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh! He looks like he can bite. Oh, look at that mouth. I've never, I've never seen a rabbit this close. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Do you see this? <laughs> okay. All right, we gotta get him out of the water. He's. Oh wow! Oh, he's trying to bite. Oh, he's. Trying to bite. Oh, he's really close Shoot. to my ankle. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. What kind of species okay. of rabbit is oh, he's that? Very muscular. 
He's very wow. muscular. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Okay, careful there. Oh, careful there, Graceful. All right, buddy. Hey, wow. I didn't know rabbits were so, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, my. With the attitude and everything. Oh, he stinks. I can so Look at that. That's crazy. That was a workout. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Reading about a rabbit on the internet is a whole different thing than actually catching one. This is not what I imagined. And I'm still trying to, like, figure out how it makes such a good pet. I think the main problem here right now is it's just a distrust of each other. I don't trust him. He doesn't trust me. I think I need to make the first move as far as trust goes and, and show him that to some extent I trust him. And I'm willing to risk, take a risk in this relationship. The foundation of a relationship is trust, right? So I'm gonna show him that, ooh, that, ooh. I mean, obviously I can't fully trust him at this point being as he has quite a rotten attitude. But if I were just to show him that I trust him and, oh wow, he's a, he's a kicker too. Okay, all right, and just show him that I'm willing to really take a risk for us. Take a risk for us. So if you can get a, a close up, not too close, but just a, a good close up. See, this, this is bonding. See, look, him and me, we, we're gonna make this work. Yeah, let's get that out, buddy. Ooh, okay, we don't, yeah, let's get that out. I don't think you're, you like salad as much as you put on. There we go, there we go. All right, dude, I'm gonna pet your head just really gently with a stick. Maybe one day I'll do it with my finger when we gain trust, okay? Ah, uh, look, I think he likes it. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to Just Joshing and hit the bell icon right next to the subscription button because YouTube is not very good at telling you guys when I make a video. So if you actually wanna know when I next make a video, hit that bell icon and they'll tell you every time. <laughs>